Welcome to the Jazz Piano School podcast, episode number 264. My name is Brendan Lowe, creator and founder of Jazz Piano School. Thank you so much for being here. In this particular podcast episode, Sterling Koza, one of our amazing Jazz Piano School educators, is going to be going over a specific 3625 improvisation exercise that will really allow you to hone in on that specific progression and elevate your improv over that. Now, of course, you're going to see this progression in all sorts of tunes, and it's one thing to just practice improv, but when you hone in on specific progressions, when you get to those progressions and tunes, you're going to feel that much more comfortable, and your improv is going to sound that much better. Now, I just started a brand new accelerator program, which is going to be a small group cohort of students that want exclusive access to me, my teaching, and the teaching of my team as well, not to mention guest master classes, open mic nights, weekly Google classroom assignments, playing a assignments, and so much more. If you're interested in joining that, go to jazzpianoschool.com forward slash small group to get more information on that new program I just started. With that being said, let's dive right in. Hey everybody, this is Sterling here for another podcast with jazzpianoschool.com. Today I'm coming at you with an exercise that you can use to take your improvising using 36251 chord progressions to another level. Basically, what I'm going to do is show you a progression that you can use to practice and loop to get familiar with uh, vocabulary uh, through these progressions, which will help you to play tunes in a variety of keys, uh, especially as you get to playing more advanced chord progressions. So first, I'm going to show you this uh, progression. It's eight bars, and it starts on a one chord. If we're in the key of C major, we've got C major seven. Two, D minor seven, five, G seven, three, which is E minor seven, six, A seven, two, five, one. So that's the first progression, the first half. C major, two, five, three, six, two, five, one. And the second half is the same thing. So first I'm going to start by just improvising over those chord changes. In your left hand you can use either some four note voicings or some shell voicings which I tend to prefer. So for this demonstration I'll be using a combination of both. Here we go. So what I'll do is I'll turn on my metronome. We'll be at about 144 beats per minute to start. So that was the basic progression that I just showed you. And uh, first you want to get comfortable with that basic progression. And once you do, what we're going to do is add some alterations and some different chord changes to have some variation in our harmony and our improvisation. So this is what's going to add depth to our improvisation and allow us to keep making things interesting, you know, especially after several repetitions, it can start to get a little repetitive, right? So there's a lot of options that you can use. First, uh, you know, would be using chord alterations like flat nines, flat thirteens, uh, things like that. Just really chromatic notes, especially outside of the key of C, these are gonna be like some black notes. Uh, so let's look for some of those.
you can see I was using a lot of black notes, a lot of chromatic notes outside of the key, uh, like some flat nines and flat thirteens. Um, and you can practice these just by playing, you know, the chords with the alterations. And then you can go to improvise using those alterations um, in that exercise. And the next thing you can do, uh, moving on, would be to have some substitute chord changes. So this would be something like tritone substitutions, maybe some different root movement. Here are some examples of some uh, chord substitutions which I would use. So you can play C major, 2, 5, you could do 3, flat 3, tritone substitution, 2, flat 2, to 1. Let's see what that would sound like improvising. So already that gave us some different colors that we can use in our improvising. What if we use some alternate progressions? Well, we could go 1, 2, sharp 2 diminished, which leads up to 3. 6, 2, 5, 1. I like to use diminished chords for some uh, variations in our harmony. So we could do 1, sharp 1 diminished, 2, sharp 2 diminished, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1. So that could sound like this in our improvising. So already that gives us some more ideas of stuff that we can play um, in our lines by drawing from different harmonies. So you can see there's a lot of different ways to approach just playing this simple progression by using the basic chord progression, chord alterations, and then harmonic alterations or alternate chord progressions. So those were all things that you could do in the key of C major. Um, let's do it in one more key just to practice transposition and we'll be at 144 beats per minute. I'm going to do this in the key of B flat now. Here we go. One, two, I want two. So that was an example of what that exercise would sound in the, key, in the key of B flat. So the next thing you could do is just practice this in a variety of keys and tempos. And once you get comfortable with you know these chord alterations, alternate progressions, and playing lines in these different keys, it can really help you further down the line when you're going to play um, in more distant keys like more flats and sharps like A, E, B. G flat, D flat, by getting this vocabulary under your hands and developing your own lines, um, then when you go to play tunes in those keys, you'll have some things already to go. So that can be really helpful and uh, help you to create new ideas over uh, tunes like that in your improvising. So I hope you found this exercise helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and uh, we can get back to you on that. 
So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you next time. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to go to jazzpianoschool.com to check out all of our free, amazing education, all of the free podcast blogs. We do have a membership if you're looking to take a next step forward with us, get access to over a thousand different jazz piano videos, playbooks, mini courses, a main course curriculum, success path, and so much more. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at jazzpianoschool.com. I hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, happy practicing.